What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Coco Chanel, the Madame Bozelle, and I'm here with another branding lesson for you so I can help you build your brand stamina, creating the direction and legacy of your brand. Today, we're gonna to be talking about marketing, folks. This is what you're currently doing with building your brand, and this is what you wanna be doing when building your brand. Before I give y'all that tea, though, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. as a fitness professional. Now, if you're in another world, a different sector, a different lane, as an entrepreneur, so I don't want to rule you out either. Some of you are here, and some of you are here. The difference between these two, consistency and direction. Some of us fitpreneurs right mm -hmm. here, what you are doing is building following and trust. Which is really great to do. How are you building your followers and your trust? You're creating content. And because of all three of these, you guys are building followers. And consistency keeps your followers. You get me? Who you are, what you do, how you serve. Consistency builds trust. Now let me pause real quick and show you something. Well, some of us are creating content on who we are, what we do, how we serve, but we stop at consistency. Our ability to keep consistent is stopping people from trusting us. How are you gonna trust somebody that's periodically picking up that kid? How are you gonna trust somebody who's periodically paying their bills? You're not reliable. You're not consistent. So I'm not coming back to your page because I don't trust you. That's deep. That is deep. Hold up, don't yell at me yet. For the people that are doing consistency content creation. Because some of you guys fall short at the trust. Take them off this platform. Take them off of Instagram. Take them off of TikTok. TikTok. Build your own platform to keep them connected to you. Instagram is a great platform but it provides distractions. They gonna wanna see, go to Marcus, go to Marcus, more than they wanna see your working out. Unless people are severe fitness freaks and enthusiasts, they are gonna watch entertainment before they get up off that couch to start doing exercises. And it's your job to pull them away from the entertainment so they can be purposeful in their activity. You got me? Go. How are we gonna get him away from Golden Marcus? Let me show you. Because now, this the side that we wanna be on. We gonna take him to YouTube. We gonna take him to a website. We gonna take him to a landing page. Vimeo, Facebook, your email list. App, a blog site. These the DKs, the distraction killers, AKA the money makers. You can only be on this side if you really bad. If you really think you about that life. These outlets right here are taking them away from the rush challenge, see a shot, take a shot, do 10 push-ups, hate 10 push-up challenge, all of that. Monetize over here on this side, y'all. You making the coin. You are making an impact and getting impacted. Positive currency. Money is a flow. Money is a currency. But you get the point. Only way you can get over here is if you put systems in place. Wait, hold on now, before you turn off the video. All depending on how successful you want your business to be is the investment that you're gonna put into it. Calendly is like five or $10. You wanna have a CRM in place. This is where you're able to stay connected to your followers. You're sending them emails. They can send you back emails. Automatic text, having somebody provide their phone number and you get an automatic text, but it seemed a little personal. You know, some people get annoyed by that, but that is a way. Invest in your website, invest in a blog, invest into your YouTube. Sometimes investment doesn't only take take money but it takes time so if you want to build your way up to those followers so you can start to be able to monetize off of your YouTube then that's a way to make an investment but of course the more you put into your investment the more you're gonna get out of it I do want to stress that if you're here and you want to get to this side you have to have consistency motion makes commotion and good commotion is the beginning of your brand's legacy. 
You better hop on the success train. Mm -mm. It's your girl, Coco Chanel, the Mademoiselle, signing off. And I hope I have helped you with your branding needs.